Hi everyone and welcome to our video tutorial today on repeat charges. This feature is awesome for those longer term bookings that you might have staying at your property. The idea with these is that you can set up automated fees that will generate onto these booking accounts based on the interval that you select. The first step in order to use this feature is creating those billing items by heading into your main menu search and opening up your inventory item page. Once you're on the screen here, you simply select add inventory item in the top right corner. The two tabs that we need to focus on today are the inventory item details tab and our repeat charge details tab. So the first section we're going to fill out is the name of this particular fee. I'm going to create one called weekly site fee. So we simply enter the name and the description that will generate on the client account. We can then set what the amount is that we're going to be charging each week for the site fee. So I'm going to place in here $475. Over on the right hand side, we then have to set the sub client account and the general ledger account. The sub client account will simply advise where within a booking client account is the charge going to generate. And underneath here we have our general ledger account which is extremely important because this is where we're going to be posting our revenue for our financial reporting. So you need to ensure that this is obviously being selected correctly. I'm going to place this under my accommodation GL. Now that I've got these areas set, I'm going to head to my repeat charge detail tab. You'll see some key areas here such as how often this charge needs to repeat. So I'm going to leave this as every one week, but you do have the options to obviously adjust this here. So if you do quarterly billing or yearly, you've got the options to change. We can also set whether this is going to be a recurring fee or debit, um, or if it's a recurring credit. So if you do happen to do discounts of any sort for your longer term stays, and you'd like to record those separately, you can set up repeat credits as well that occur on the client accounts in the same interval so that they can see how much they're getting off of their you know, weekly fees. We also have another option here called Pro Rata Billing Stop Date. This is essentially advising if this guest is to be billed each week and they happen to check out midweek in their last fee, do you want Newbook to automatically charge less? If so, you would keep it on yes, or if you still want to charge them the full fee, you would leave it on no. You also have the ability to set what your market segment is within here as well, which is really important when it comes to your reporting. One more area I would like to note down, which is extremely helpful with these repeat charges, is the ability to set scheduled price increases or decreases. The best thing about this setting is we can actually schedule on the right hand side when in the future we want any booking using this repeat charge to automatically have the price increased. So if I know that in um, June next year, or July I should say, so July 1st, I know that we're going to have a slight increase and it's going to go up to $490. I can say set to $490. So it's going to update that to that new fixed value. You can also increase by a dollar value. So you could say increase the current price by $10 or decrease it. You can also do a 10% increase or decrease. So you've got some options there. Please note you do need to set these before the date rolls in order to have them automatically update. Once we've got those details set, all we then need to do is save. This now means that when I go to make a booking for a long-term guest and I select our repeat charge option, I will be able to search and select my weekly site fee for the billing. We do recommend that if you do have various charges that you um, bill to clients, so you might have a weekly site fee that's slightly more expensive, or you might have a monthly fee, a quarterly fee, an annual fee, we recommend that you preset them up as inventory items to ensure that your staff have the correct list of items to select when billing those. If you set the wrong price and you need to adjust it, it's simply a matter of editing the inventory item from this page here and adjusting the value in this section before you add it to a booking and then saving. There is also a helpful duplicate inventory item button as well. So if you needed to set up another weekly site fee for your ensuite sites, it might, might be a bit more expensive. You can duplicate this, which just saves a little bit of time. Have a slightly different name so that your staff understand the difference between these particular charges. Once you've got that in here, update the price and obviously ensure that you cross-check your billing area for your revenue. Ensure that the 
repeat charge details are also selected correctly for how often they're occurring and then simply save. Now that we've created our inventory items for our billing, we can go through creating a booking and adding a repeat charge into the system. So what I'm going to use today is my add booking shortcut from my menu search, which is going to open a blank booking screen for me here. I'm going to add my guest details. Once I've selected my guest, I've got the arrival and departure date options here. And because they're going to be staying for quite a long time, again, I can push out to a year in advance. I've also got the booking length over on the right hand side which allows me to maybe set exactly 365 days or however long they're going to be in the system for. We want to ensure we place them into something that is available so I'm going to be putting them on a 50 amp back in site here for that duration. We then need to head to our booking billing section which is where we need to set the repeat charge. So you'll notice you have quoted rates as an option, repeat charges and no billing. So rates are better for your shorter term bookings where they're essentially staying you know, for a shorter period of time because it generates nightly charges. If we were to set up a long term booking on a rate, it would generate 365 individual nightly charges, which just means it might be a little bit more difficult to manage a client account using that particular option. Hence why we have the repeat charge where we can set up the automated weekly fee that generates each week that it's due. So when we're selecting repeat charges, it just reloads the billing area and underneath here it says we currently don't have a repeat charge and we simply need to add one on the right hand side. So once we click add repeat charge, a pop-up window appears and the first important area that you need to add is our inventory item. So we're going to locate our weekly site fee that we've got and you can see the two different options that we have here. They're just on a standard back in site so we'll use this as the selected billing. Newbook will automatically attach this charge to the booking and automatically bill it into the booking client account associated with their stay. We then move down to our generation details and this is all about what we're generating and when. So Newbook will pull through the default details that we set up in the inventory item. So you'll see it's on generate charge is selected. It's going to generate it on the interval of every one week. And we can also see it's pulling through my pro rata billing stop date options here as yes. There are some additional settings that you're able to adjust here, but generally speaking, if you want a repeat charge to start from the arrival date all the way to the departure date, you shouldn't need to adjust any other settings at this stage because we by default match the arrival date to start the billing from and match the departure date here. And what you'll notice as well is that the next run date matches the date of their arrival. So we can leave those as is if we need to. However, a really cool option we have here is pro rata the billing start date. So if let's say, you know, the 3rd of April is a Monday, but all of your other long term bookings in the system generate their weekly charges every Wednesday and you want to ensure that you align this new booking with your existing sort of repeat charge schedule. What you can do is simply set Wednesday as a, a pro rata start date. So Newbook will create a charge from the 3rd until the 5th and then it will start billing the full week from the 5th of April onwards. One other key area here is generating daily charges. So if you are wanting to distribute your revenue evenly across each night within that week, you can tell Newbook to split that weekly charge across seven nights. So it'll still generate a weekly sum but it automatically distributes it across each night, which is great for your revenue to ensure that it's reporting across the correct date ranges. So if we pop that on yes, new book will do that for you. Underneath, we then have our accounting details that are all pulling through from that inventory item. So there should be no need to adjust anything in this section. We then have an invoice details tab, which is really great if you're wanting to do automated invoicing. So if you wanted to schedule these to be sent automatically, you can do so in here. So you can state that you would like Newbook to use its generic invoice template, and then you can advise whether you want them to send it as well. So it'll send along with our invoice attached contact template. Other than that, all we need to do is save, and you'll see here it says weekly site fee, and it's saying it's going to generate $480 weekly from the start of the booking until the end of the booking. So all the way through 
from their arrival till departure. Ensure you fill out any other mandatory fields and um, you can save the booking. You'll see you've got the red bar at the top and our success message. Then we're going to take a look over here. So you can see the booking billing looks a little bit different than a standard booking that's on a nightly rate. You'll see it tells you what it's going to be generating. So a weekly site fee at $480 per week. And the total that you see here is essentially what they will end up paying if they truly stay the full term of their booking. As this booking is due to check in today, you'll actually notice that in my client account here, it's automatically raised in that purple line, the first charge for their start of their booking. And you'll notice it's not the $480 and that's because it's a pro rata amount that we've got there. So this is the charge from the 3rd to the 5th of April. And um, if we take a deeper look at this, we can click into the account to view what's going on here. So we're viewing Jane's booking account for her stay. We can see the sub client accounts within here and you'll notice accommodation is where that repeat charge is generating into. We can also see our repeat charge settings advising us how often this is going to be generating and when the next charge will automatically generate onto the account and for what value. So again, it's going to start charging that full 480 from the fifth onwards. Underneath, we then have our client account ledger, and you'll notice we've got an invoice because we automatically generated that here, and it's telling us the date range of that initial charge. If we wanted to um, pay that off, we can simply tick the invoice and with that item, select pay. But if I also maybe wanted to take two additional full weeks from that guest upfront, you can choose to generate charges ahead of their schedule. And NewBook will know not to raise anything until that next date. So to do so, select generate charges on the right here within the account, and you'll see it, it tells you when it's currently generated up to, and I can select how many charges I'd like to create. So if I select two here, that's going to be two weeks and it tells you the date that it'll push it out to. And you'll notice that new book is splitting it out on a nightly basis again for the revenue distribution because I advised that I wanted it to be split across a nightly billing option. If I click generate, it's then going to create another invoice for us where it puts both of those weeks um, into the account for us. So you can see we've got 5th until the 19th of April here. As I mentioned, to pay off, we simply tick those items and then select pay. That's going to take you to your payment page where you check the amount and then within this section, select how you're going to receive the payment as you normally would. Um, we'll just pay this off for cash and save. That's going to update that booking to confirmed. We've got our tax receipt here as well. And you'll notice it's just displaying the charges that it's paid off within that client account. If we wanted to have another look at the account to see what it looks like now, you'll clearly see that the sub client account is balanced off at zero. There's no outstanding balance. My repeat charge is updated to say that NewBook won't generate anything until the 19th of April and for the 480. And you can also see the invoices have turned green because they are both paid in full by that payment that we just received in the system. Next, I'd like to quickly walk through another long-term booking where we use a repeat charge, but where we also create a repeat credit so that we're providing them with a discount off of their weekly fees. So heading to my menu again, using my add booking shortcut, that'll open a blank booking screen for me. This time I'm going to say John is staying select his profile. If he's going to be arriving in the future, again, we can schedule the arrival here. And then I could state that he's going to be in for 90 days. And he'll also be in a back in site here. So you'll notice once that's selected, we head down to our booking billing area. And we're going to select repeat charge as we did before. Add repeat charge on the right. And then we're going to select the weekly site fee that we've set up for him. Once we've clicked on this one, again, it's going to generate a charge every one week, arrival through to the departure date, and the next run date is going to match the arrival date of their stay. So that's the first date that that charge is going to be dated for. Um, we can cross-check the accounting details and set an automated invoice if we wish to. Otherwise, we could say, no, we're not interested in invoicing this, and save. If we now want to create a recurring 
discount or weekly credit, we add another one on. So we simply go add repeat charge. This time I'm going to locate a different inventory item that I've actually created for this, um, which is called our weekly site fee discount. And you'll notice when I select this, it defaults to credit and it's going to bill weekly from arrival to departure from the 10th of May for $15. And then I'm simply going to um, not invoice that one as well and then save. So new book is going to create the $480 charge, but it's also going to bring that overall cost down by $15 each week as well. So you can see the full costs and what it works out on average to be um, throughout the duration of their stay. Again, filling out any mandatory fields and then simply saving that one in the system. It's created the booking. You can see the success message here. We've got our billing section advising. We've got two reoccurring items on the account here. So the weekly fee and the weekly discount. And you'll notice in the client account, it hasn't actually generated anything yet because they're not due to arrive until May. But again, if we did want to pre-generate a couple of weeks um, that they need to pay up front onto their account, we simply go into the booking account here. And what we'll do is within the repeat charge section, generate charges within each one. So I might say two of those for the two weeks, generate. And then I'm also going to do the same for the credit. So pop in here two and then generate. So you'll be able to see it shows the itemized um, weekly items on here. So you've got the red debit and then the credit bringing the overall cost down. If we wanted to pay those off, again, we can bulk tick all of the items and with them select pay. Alternatively, we could generate an invoice and send it off for them. Um, the best thing about that is you can also insert links for them to make payment via New Book Online, provided you've got your credit card gateway configured. Separate to the actual booking process for repeat charges, we also have a report that's really helpful to manage these as well. So in your menu search on the left, there is a booking repeat charge report. Um, for those of you who are in the US, it is called your booking rent roll report. Once you've selected this, you can simply have a look at, you know, active repeat charges that you've got for the current month, run the report, and it's going to show you a list of bookings, where they're staying, their dates, what repeat charge they're set up on and what the fee is, how far in advance they've maybe paid up to, or how far behind they might be as well. So you can keep an eye on those as well. You can also reach out to the guests from here by um, bulk selecting and then sending them a statement you know, via email so that they can see exactly what it is that they've got outstanding in the system. Lastly, there is the ability to set default repeat charges within your categories of accommodation. So if we head to our categories in the menu as well, if there is a style of accommodation that you have set up that is always used for the longer term bookings and you know that there's always a specific fee that you're going to charge, you can actually head to the category and within here, edit the category and within the billing setup tab, select the default repeat charge that you bill for for those particular bookings. So when you make a booking and click repeat charge, it will automatically pull this item through. So add on the right, search for your fee and configure that at a category level and then save. That does bring us to the end of our video tutorial today. We do hope you've enjoyed this and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.